welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Today, we're speaking about the power of language or language. How you gauge your environment, gauge your world, gauge your existence. That's right. Language in truth, you may or may not know, is a measurement tool. Language is a measurement instrument, an instrument of measuring our environment. Now, what would we need to be measuring, you might ask? That's a pretty deep question. Now, why? Why would you want to know the power of language? Well, language is one of those tools that we use unconsciously that actually dictates our reality. Now, imagine if you were wielding a sword or a gun with a blindfold. Kind of dangerous, wouldn't you say? Although, many of us, until we become highly trained in linguistics, and as you start to entertain that idea, recognize that actually, there's a lot of autopilot linguistics that happen from time to time. And if you aren't trained, you could be doing some damage. And I'm not even saying damage to, you know, others, although I'm, I'm sure at some point in time, you may have said something where you've quote unquote put your foot in your mouth. Though, there's a lot more to language than foot and mouth disease, or at least lack thereof, being able to use it with intent and volition. So, why you'd want to use language is really because if you can get a grasp of how to use the types of words that will assist you to get your outcomes, it just makes life easier. We can, from time to time, use language that actually makes our life more difficult. Now, I don't know about you, but from what I've noticed, life can, can sometimes become difficult without us making it more so. So, what specifically do you need to know to really enhance the power of language. In my opinion, one of the quickest ways to enable you to do the things you want to do with more ease and grace, more naturally and intuitively, and more than anything, with more leverage. You know the saying, give me a lever long enough and I'll lift the planet. It goes something like that. And um, yeah, we can really have far more leverage. Extend that lever arm so that from the standpoint of physics and, and from a mechanical equation view, that uh, principle of least effort if you can put that small amount in and make a huge impact, would that not be interesting to you? I know I'm absolutely fascinated about language and I'm super passionate too. And that's part of what this is all about, sharing that passion with you. To enable you to make your life easier. So... Part of the what, what you need to know about language, will just start just an entry level of 
they're known as ling ling linguistically they're known as hypnotic language patterns traversing through language in different ways either more ambiguous and more specific that's another topic that's extremely powerful and it ties into what we call the Milton model and the meta model and there are many many patterns in these categories I want to just cover three major patterns and I'm not even going to use the technical terms because that's for another day this particular broadcast is all about the power of not try and yet now if you've listened to any of my episodes on the unconscious mind we're getting into the how now how how to use these patterns if you've ever used any of those broadcasts on the unconscious mind you may have picked up one one of those things that I will mention sometimes more often than not it's that your unconscious mind cannot process negations negations if I tell you don't think about that orange elephant with the green trunk what do you think of yeah, you can't not think of something until you think about it first. So we know this now, that your unconscious mind cannot process negations, and this is extremely powerful. Be very careful where you're using the word not, because unless you want to focus on the not pain or the not suffering or the not difficult situation, rather than the not solution, then use not carefully and just use language of how you prefer things to be rather than not anxious calm rather than not lethargic energetic rather than not disempowered completely and totally empowered standing in your personal power now that's a far more constructive pattern be aware of not and ensure that you use it when you want to rather than unconsciously and on autopilot where it could do that uh, quote unquote damage as I mentioned before and it's the, the small things insidious I know and yet they are the difference that makes the difference so if you want to have more ease in creating your world go ahead and pay attention to that now the next one try and uh, as a client of mine if you've heard this before then you might smile you might uh, grimace uh, yeah I mean I, I when I first heard this one it was frustrating because again I, I thought really no yeah try the power of try it, it's a big deal the word try see I'm not a Star Wars fan but Yoda he was a phenomenal philosopher Yoda said that there is no try only do or not do careful of that not there you might just do but <laughs> Yeah, if you call a friend, a good friend, and say on a Monday and tell them, I'd love to go to this new breakfast joint, new breakfast restaurant in the city, and uh, how about Sunday at, at midday? This Sunday at midday. I'm excited, and they say, yeah, I'll try to get there. I'll try, I'll, I'll, I'll try, mate, I'll try. What are they telling you? If you read between the lines, what? What are they telling you? That's right. 
it's in essence a very clear lack of clarity lack of commitment and ultimately either they there's a, there's a few inferences you could draw but the fact of the matter is they certainly aren't there with bells on they're not saying yes I'll be there. And perhaps they've got other commitments or who knows, but it's certainly not a yes. The point of the matter is that try means, or at least the undercurrent, the deeper meaning of try is fail. So unless you wanna choose to fail, leave try out of your patterns out of your sentences. If you if you are actually intending on failing, then use it use it for the purposes of tactfully doing that. Do it for your benefit, not for an unconscious patterns uh, autopilot. Because I'm not sure about you, but if I have the choice of taking a little bit more control back every day, inch by inch within my life, that's highly beneficial. To me, can you see the benefit in that? Can you see the value in that? Now, I've still got the next pattern to come. So, not yet though, not yet. That's a perfect place to, to break off. If you've got any questions, holler out. This is Matthew Tweedy. Matthew Tweedy Hypnosis on Facebook, Instagram, on the web, my website, of course, the Power of Practice podcast. Ciao for now. Keep growing and evolving.